guys is going on Mizu back here with another video today I'm going to be unveiling the secret recipe to going pro in Rocket League and what these steps mean and the mentality the practice and everything surrounded with going pro in Rocket League what you guys need to do to be able to make it to that next step now fair warning this video is not for your average player this is not how to improve at Rocket League this is not how to get good at Rocket League hell this is not even how to get SSL in Rocket League this is how to go pro in Rocket League and the steps that you need to do to be able to be a professional Rocket League player. Now, I have outlined five steps that you guys need to be able to do, and we're going to cover these five steps today and what they are to be able to go pro in Rocket League. Now, remember, this is not an average video on how to get better. This is how to be a professional Rocket League player. So some of the things I'm going to be saying are a little bit absurd in their practice, but if you want it, you'll do it. So Without further ado, let's hop straight into the first one. On the top right of your, in the top right of your screen, I should say, it's going to say what step we are on. So you can skip to any part of the video because it's going to say permanently in the top right of the screen what step we are on. So step number one, and that's the step I'm currently in, is free play, free play, free play, and custom training packs. So to be a professional Rocket League player, you need to be good at the game, right? And so we're going to talk about how you guys can get good at the game very quickly and how to be the most efficient use of your time. So um, free play and training packs are the most important aspects um, of training for Rocket League. So you really want to be pushing yourself in free play as much as you can. You want to be doing a minimum of an hour to two hours of free play every single day to go pro on top of doing custom training packs. So depending on what you're individually working on, your free play should reflect that. So right now for me, I'm working on my dribbles and first touch catches. So you're gonna see in free play, if you watch my streams, you'll see me going for a lot of 360 dribbles and a lot of like first touch catches. Use my second dump, get down, get a first touch catch here, and then instantly flick the ball. That's what I'm working on right now. And I'm also working on double taps as well so you'll see me in my streams going and pushing myself in custom trainings and going for double taps now here's the difference i'm not just floating up to this ball hitting it and going for a super simple double tap like that was easy i can hit that 10 out of 10 but that's not what i'm doing i'm not floating like this i'm going for the ball i'm striking it i'm getting up quick I'm imagining that I'm beating that defender. I'm hitting the ball high on the back wall and slamming it down. I have good placement. I'm getting to this ball quick as if someone's challenging me. I'm getting the placement nice and high as if someone's in net so they can't reach it. And I'm placing it as if someone's in net. All of that is in every single shot in my custom training pack. So I'm thinking about all this as I go for it and I'm practicing it. I'm not just going to go for some crappy floater like this, try to get it in, whatever. No, I'm going up. I'm getting high, I'm hitting the ball hard, I'm following it, I'm going for some touch angles, I'm pushing myself. And I shouldn't be scoring these all the time because I'm pushing myself, right? And that's what you gotta do, you have to push yourself. You should not be comfortable. You need to push yourself and push yourself and push yourself in your free play and your custom training and your games will start to reflect that. If you start getting comfortable and you feel like what you're doing is too easy, you're not working hard enough. You guys have to recognize that there are tens of thousands of other people who want your spot as a professional player so how are you going to outwork them because they can put in the practice but are they doing the things that they need to do to go pro are they doing the things they don't want to do like i don't want to wake up in the morning and go for 500 shots i don't want to but i do it because i want to become the best and i'm absolutely not saying i'm the best player in the world one day my goal is to become the best player in the world one day but just because i haven't done it doesn't mean i don't know the steps to do it because i've done these steps every single day i've seen the improvement i know the improvements there the other pros say the same thing you have to be a little bit insane to go pro and rocket league you have to do the work no one else is willing to do okay so you have to really grind and push yourself you don't want to become comfortable right you have to be uncomfortable to go pro so this is step one of Five to going pro in Rocket League. Step number two is study the game. So what I mean by this is in Rocket League, there are so many things that you guys need to learn and get better at to be able to get good at the game. So let me explain to you guys the most I've ever played Rocket League at once and the most improvement I've ever seen is when I was putting in 8 to 10 hours every single day. I went from champ 1 to grand champ back when grand champ was the highest rank in the game in about 4 months. And 
this is back when I was in high school, so I was constantly out of the house. I didn't have as many opportunities as I currently do to play Rocket League. But I made the most of my time, all the time. I would constantly save my own replays, and I would watch them. I would even I would even record it on my phone so I could watch my replays back when I was out of the house. I would identify my weaknesses, and then I would go back to step one. I would find my weaknesses, I would go back to step one, and I would practice it, I would train it. I would push myself to become better. So study the game, identify your weaknesses, and you you need to you need to breathe this game. You need to study and and live and breathe Rocket League if you're trying to get good. It it takes an absolutely insane person to be able to go pro. And that's what you need to do. If you are going with your mom to get a haircut, right? Bring your phone, bring headphones, go tune in to a professional player's YouTube channel, slow it down to 25% speed, watch every single thing they do. Where are their wheels pointing? How did they recover? What are they looking at right now? Do they have ball cam on or off? How are they hitting this ball? Are they fast airling? Are they regular airling? Why did they pass it here? Why did they shoot the ball? How was their defense? Why did they rotate so wide? Why did they rotate so shallow? Are they admitting that this was a mistake or is this something you wanted to do? Study even the opponents in your in the game that you're watching this is all stuff that you need to be doing to get better at rocket league so you need to be watching all of this when i went from champ one to grand champ the person i studied and watched and why i admire so much the person i even to this day look up to is sorry for my um follow alerts guys but the person that i look up to even to this day is squishy squishy was the person who i sat down for about three to four hours every day i would watch his content i would watch what he's doing uh, to, to get better at the game I would watch how he's playing in RLCS I would save RLCS replays and I would watch what he's doing I would watch his YouTube videos and I would slow them down to 25% speed I would watch each video like five times and listen to his commentary because he explains his thought process and I would learn from it and then I would compare that gameplay to myself and this is where we get into step three I would identify my weaknesses by comparing what squishy did to my gameplay step two and step three kind of go hand in hand here but i would i would identify my weaknesses by um watching my own replays and comparing that to that of a professional player and if you guys have the resources as well consider getting a coach you can get a coach with the guy who coaches me and other professional rocket league players he charges 30 dollars an hour he's a fantastic coach his name is beans he used to be a twitch streamer and partner he's a fantastic player 12,000 hours of the game i would argue that he's better than me at the game he's a very very good player if you want to get a coaching session with him absolutely check it out there are tons of coaches not even just him but there are tons of coaches you guys could get resources from as well to identify your weaknesses but if you don't have that then go over your own replays watch professional players compare it and recognize that not a single player in the whole world is as good as they could be in this game the skill ceiling in rocket league in my opinion mechanically is the highest out of any game period no one in the whole world is as good as they could be in Rocket League. No one is perfect. I'm talking Justin's not perfect. Monkey Moo's not perfect. Squishy's not perfect. Garrett's not perfect. And for everyone who looks up to me, I'm not perfect. Not even freaking close. Okay? So recognize that even if your teammates are Bronze 1 and you're going against SSL full team and you're Champ 1, there are still things you can do better every single time every replay that you save there is still something that you guys can do better to get better at this game no matter what no matter how bad you feel your teammates play there's still something you can do better because if you are diamond two and squishy filled in for you in that lobby and you're like my my teammates were so bad if squishy was in that spot instead of you or i was in that spot instead of you i guarantee you the outcome of the game probably would have been different so no matter how bad you feel like your teammates are you can always play better every single time so always even at the highest level look at yourself and critically analyze how you can play differently be constructive always look for constructive criticism okay always push yourself that's very important and again step three goes hand in hand with step four like i was about to say step four push yourself so once you have done the free play you've done the training then you've studied the game and you understand what's going on then you compare it step three with yourself and identify your weakness now you have to go to step four which is push yourself 
okay you have to push yourself you have to push your understanding of the game and what you think is right and recognize okay maybe i've done this for the 2000 hours i have in the game and i've always thought this was right but maybe it's not maybe i'm wrong maybe i should change it up and learn something new i you sh i should be pushing myself to constantly be learning new mechanics you can't double flip reset learn it you can't air dribble learn it you can't must you up the ceiling learn it you don't have consistent shots learn it you can't shoot top right corner every single time you have this specific angle learn it push yourself and do it if you want to be pro you want to hang with the best of the best that's what you've got to do you have to be able to do everything because if you're in a specific situation where you need to be able to pull out of a certain mechanic and you can't do it 10 out of 10 times you're going to be a hindrance to your team and you're probably not going to be on the team for very long so you need to be able to be consistent mechanically positionally understand your game and constantly again step four push yourself push your understanding of what you think is right push your understanding of how good you think you are push your understanding of your mechanical prowess push your understanding of your positioning push your understanding even of your communication with your team record the communication back and push yourself okay maybe i could have said this i could have said this i could have said xyz like you have to be studying every aspect of this game and that's where i'm gonna get into step number five grind 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 until your fingers fall off you should be grinding this game if you want to go pro you have to recognize that not only do you have to beat everyone else at your rank trying to go pro you have to beat everyone else that's a higher rank than you that's trying to go pro and you have to beat all the current pros who are also currently professional and getting better at the game because if you want to be professional you have to be better than them or else you're not getting in you're not becoming a part of the professional scene so you have to not only beat the people at your own rank the people at a high rank and the current professionals that's you have to beat all of them you have to outgrind them all if squishy's putting in six hours a day you're putting in eight that's how you go pro you have to grind your freaking ass off to be able to go pro in this game if you are playing bad one day then tell yourself i'm not getting off this game until i'm playing better don't make excuses don't be like ah, i'm not really feeling like playing today no don't take days off if you ever want to take a day off then put two hours into free play get your mechanic practice in for the day and then take it take your mind off the game but don't take days off because a day that you take off is lost practice and lost ground against other people who are training if you really want to go pro you need to be putting in the hours into this game a lot of it like and that's what i mean again with sleeping breathing everything needs to be rocket league you need to be dreaming about rocket league like rocket league needs to be everything for you because again if you want to go pro in rocket league that means it's your life that's your job okay so you have to start thinking about this as your job more than something that's just fun if rocket league and going pro for you is just fun there's a good chance you're not going to be able to do it because it needs to be a job for you it needs to be something serious right you need to be putting in these hours and not everyone is able to do that and i'm sorry not everyone's going to be able to go pro there are limited spots that's the way the world works and everyone wants that spot so how are you going to outwork everyone else this is not some fairy tale where everyone who wants to go pro is going to do it there's going to be millions of people who want to do it and only 100 people who get it so are you going to be the 100 or are you going to be the rest of the 999,000? okay like that's just how the world works you have to outwork everyone and if you are champ two trying to go pro put this in perspective you need to outwork me i'm putting in six to eight hours a day on the bare minimum every day to try to go pro and i'm not even like where i want to be yet i'm not on energy i'm not beating energy i'm like top 30 in north america my team ranking and that's nowhere even near where i want to be I have 7,000 hours in the game and I'm going to continue putting in more hours. So you have to beat me. If you're not at least beating me and you're trying to get better, it's it's not going to happen. This this is serious, right? This is if you want to go pro, you have to put in the work. I'm sorry to break the news to you, but if you want to do it, you have to work hard. This this can't just happen overnight. It has to be hard work. Even when you feel like you don't want to get on, you don't want to put the shots in, you got to do it anyway. You have to. You have to. It's just end of story. So again, I'm going to recap the five steps for you guys. If you guys are serious about going pro in Rocket League, and this is meant for my serious people. This is not people who are trying to get better. This is for people who are serious about going pro. 
and I understand if you guys have your doubts about, oh, well, you're not the best player in the world, so why are you giving this advice? I, and I could be wrong, but I don't think there's a pro who would watch this video and disagree with anything that I would have to say. It's, it's, I've talked to a lot of people, and from my knowledge and my understanding, everyone feels the same way. And just like coaches in Rocket League and coaches in any sport, just because you can't actually do what you're preaching doesn't mean it's wrong. Just because a coach can't go out there and score 10 goals doesn't mean what his tactics are is wrong. So I understand if you guys don't want to listen to me because of that, but at the same time, I really am making this video to help you guys. It's not for myself. I'm making this video for people who want to go pro because I wish that someone had said this to me when I wanted to go pro because there's a lot of things I wish I could have done differently, right? So again, we're going to recap the five steps to going pro in Rocket League. So the first one is free play and custom training. You should be sitting in this um, game mode about 80% of the time that you're playing this game. Should be in a free play and custom training. That's how much you should be putting into free play and custom training. You don't want to be doing much of anything else. You just want to be doing this uh, a lot to get better at the game. That's really what you're going to want to be doing. Um, the second step is study the game. So again, you're going to want to be looking at anything that you believe is better gameplay than yourself. And I mean, the better the gameplay, the better. So I would watch RLCS Grand Finals. I would save the replay if you're on like PC or something. Uh, if you're not, then I would watch YouTube videos on your phone if you're a console player. But if you're on PC, then I would go and save the replays from RLCS like Grand Finals or something. And they're easy to find on Reddit. Just look it up. You'll be able to find it. But go and save those replays go and watch what individual players do like i would watch every single player's perspective on that field per game in like a best of seven series that's the type of stuff you have to be doing to study the game every day you have to then identify your weakness with what you've studied so that's step number three and then you have to push yourself with the weaknesses you've identified that's step number four and then step number five is just because you did it one day doesn't mean it's good enough you got to do it every single day day in day out you gotta put in the work if you really want it no one can stop you not a single person can stop you if you really want it but it's up to you to put in the work because no one's gonna sit there and say yo you only put in three hours today are you gonna put in six like what's going on no one's gonna be there to tell you to work harder it's up to you you're the only person that's gonna tell you yeah this is what you've got to do to go pro in rocket league so if you really want it this is what you have to do to go pro in rocket league i hope you guys listen to my words um of advice on this and again i'm just making this because i wish someone had told me me this uh four years ago when i tried to really push myself and go pro in rocket league so those are the five steps in my opinion to going pro in rocket league so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to hit that like subscribe follow button all of the sorts it really does help me out so much i will see you guys in the next video and thank you guys for watching peace out